I recently made a video on a round column mill that I'm installing a VFD on. As part of that, I talk about programming the VFD. I thought I would break that out into a separate video so that if you're not interested in that mill video or if you never even see it, but you're curious about programming these Chinese VFDs, you won't have to track down that other video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about programming Chinese VFDs and why it's not as hard as you might think. If that interests you, stay tuned. We'll get started. So now I want to show you how to program this VFD. I think of all the things for these VFDs, programming is what people find most intimidating. If you open the manual and you start looking at it, it's, it's poorly written, it's badly translated, and there's a lot of information in there. So that part can be intimidating, especially if you've never done this before. This is the manual for my VFD. If you open this up, there's a lot of information in here that you pretty much want to ignore. It's not well written and it's not well translated. But what you're after is this table. So this table tells you everything you need to know. It's got four columns. The first column is the parameter number or what on the VFD is P. So the first one I show you will be P0000. That is what this is. So here's P0000. The second column is a description of what that parameter changes or what it is. The third is a range that that parameter can be set to. And the fourth is what it was set to when it left the factory. So as an example, the very first one, this is the one that tells the VFD what your power is. So it's P0000. It's listed as the main frequency. It can be set between zero and 60 hertz. And it's set at 50 hertz from the factory. So like I mentioned, this is set up for Asia, which has 50 hertz power. So the first thing we'll adjust is this P0000, and we'll change this to 60 to match US power. So to program this VFD, we select program, and we're gonna get that P number I mentioned. So this is parameter 0000, and in the book, it said this was the main frequency. So this is the main frequency of our power coming in. So in the US, it's 60 hertz. So to set this, You've got your P code flashing and you hit set. And mine is set to 60 because I already changed it. If you just turn this BFD on right out of the box, this will be set at 50. To change that, you use the arrow buttons and you set this to what you need. So in the US, we have 60 hertz power, so that's what I set it to. And then to get it to take, you hit set. So now P0000 is set to 60 hertz. So every time this power is on, it will remember 60 hertz. But the general gist here is to program the VFD, remember, press program, select the P code or the parameter code that you want to change, hit set, change the number to whatever it needs to be, and hit set again. And now that's saved. It's done the same way for all P codes, and there's a lot of those P codes listed in the book. I want to show you the handful of P codes that actually matter that you want to set up to get your machine running. So let's go back to the book and I'll show you what those are. So one thing this manual provides that I have not seen with other manuals, other VFD manuals, is it provides a simple list of settings you need to adjust to get your machine up and running. So for us, we want to change all of these settings to match our US power. So P000, we talked about that. That's the main frequency. Others, you've got the VFD curve set points or frequencies. You can set those to 60. This one is important, P0309. This is the potentiometer frequency. So you can set all this to 60 and it will still display 50 on the VFD unless you change the set point. So changing this from 50 to 60 gives you the full 60 hertz on the display. So I will put a list of these, a screen capture of this on the screen so you can see what these are. One thing they don't mention in that simple startup table is the actual motor configuration. And on this VFD, that's in the 12 series parameter codes. So P1200, that's the motor rated current. This is set at 15. I pulled that off the nameplate of my motor. It was only 2.8. 1201 motor rated voltage. This is set to 220. My machine's got a 240 volt motor so I adjusted that. The next one 12.02 number of motor poles. This is the number of pole pairs and it's calculated based on the frequency on the nameplate of the motor. 
So I changed it from two to four. And then this goes on. So after you configure your VFD for the simple settings to get running, come into number 12 or this 12 series parameters and adjust these to match the motor you use. So that's the basics of programming one of these Chinese VFDs. Remember, look up your code in the table for whatever your parameter is. Come into program, select that parameter code, press set, and then adjust it to what it needs to be, whatever the parameter is for your motor or your frequency or whatever. Hit set, that'll set it, and then you just do this over and over again until you've got everything configured the way you want it to be configured. After that, it's all stored in memory. You won't have to do it again. I recommend putting this book somewhere where you can find it, somewhere close to the mill, just because you never know when you might want to tweak a setting, and there's so many in there, you won't remember. I did look for this book online. I couldn't find it, so don't lose the printed copy. So let's take a quick look at my mill. I'll show you everything working. So I've got it powered on. The frequency is flashing zero because it's not running. I'm going to pick a frequency, I'm going to hit run, the mill will come on, and you'll see the spindle speed displayed on the tack. I am still using the stepped pulleys for my motor, so it's set up in whatever position to give me a max RPM of 874. I kept the step pulleys because I want to be able to adjust this, give me different torques, different speeds, that sort of thing. Once I'm done milling or I want to shut it off, I just hit stop and the mill will power down based on however I've configured it. I can adjust the speed and I can do it on the fly. So by turning the dial here, we can speed up or slow down the mill to whatever feed rate we want. And that's how it works. I mean, after all the wiring and everything else, the VFD side of it's really easy. So I hope this video helped clarify how to program these VFDs. If you have questions about yours, something I didn't answer in the video, post a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your question. And if I don't know, one of the viewers who's seen the video most certainly will. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Keep an eye out for the mill video if that interests you. I'll see you later.